What's the sales? And then from there, we have to have everything supporting the sales. Do we have enough employees and operations, enough people in the factory, the right technology in the factory? Um, do we need more investments in our headquarters? Do we need more accountants? Things like that. And again, cash budget, right? Make sure the cash budget is, is in good shape. We're not losing any money. So this is kind of the start here, you guys. <clears throat> this is what I do in my man managerial accounting class, right? We start with the sales forecast for the year, right? Price times quantity for every month, right? So say our price is fixed and assume one product for now. Obviously, the more products you have, the more complicated this gets, right? But we assume we forecast the sales going forward. Sometimes what I do and sometimes what you can do is you can look at history, right? To see uh, what have we done historically? And you can say, let's grow the sales at 5%. Um, or you can get more detail by going to the sales managers, talking to them and getting their input from this. From there, if we're making the product, right? We have to then make production plans. And we don't get into this detail in this class, but for, if we're producing stuff, right, we need to have direct materials, right? Like say we're making uh, t-shirts, right? We need to buy the cotton in the material. And that's gonna be determined by how many we're planning to sell, right? And then we need also direct labor. Direct labor is the people who are actually like sewing and cutting and, and doing the artwork on the t-shirts like that. And then also within the factory, we're going to have overhead, right? Overhead is going to be the rent of the factory, the depreciation of the machines, uh, the cost of the supervisors who are not direct labor, right? The janitor who's sweeping the floor and indirect material, like if we have glue or something that we need, right? That we can't easily measure that all goes into this overhead. So there's actually three different budgets that go into this production plan, right? And once we have that, we can then develop our income statement, right? Because we now have our, we have our sales, we have our costs, and we can do the income statements, right? The revenues and the expenses. Um, and then from there, we can do the balance sheet also, right? Because we know what's happening to our, all of this stuff relates to inventory, right? It's because what we do in manufacturing, right, what you start off with is you have the direct materials, uh, the direct labor and the overhead. And again, you guys don't need to do this. I'm just giving you a background. As we move it out of these areas, it becomes work in process, right? We start to work on the t-shirts. That's a work in process. These are like the raw materials. This is the raw materials. And after it's done, it becomes finished goods, right? This is finished goods. It's not sold, but it's finished. And then from there, it moves into cost of goods sold, right? Cost of goods sold, which you guys know from the multi-step income statement. So in between this stuff here is all inventory, right? Which is an asset. So by planning out this stuff for 12 months, we know down here, what is our inventory at the end? <clears throat> we know here that some of our sales are cash and some of it is credit. That tells us accounts receivable. We know here when we purchase direct materials, we pay some of that in cash and some we pay the supplier later. That's gonna be accounts payable, right? The machines that we're using here depreciates, that goes over here. So this information gives us the information for the balance sheet, right? Then we can do the cash flow statement as well. Um, and that's essentially it. There's, there's about nine, this is called the master budgeting process, master budget. Within master budgeting, you guys, we have many different budgets. So we're just giving you an overview of some of these sections here.